How's it going, my friends? I always like to keep my favorite tools in the most convenient places in my shop. And in this case, my favorite, ultimate favorite router table, which is completely uh, easy to use and the best thing in the entire universe. that look at that garbageness okay so it's not that garbage i actually like it quite a bit but every time i need to change bits i have to take the entire thing apart which is not a delight because i didn't build this thing tall enough so in this video i want to make myself a new router table that will solve world hunger but more importantly be slightly better than what i already have I don't know if you remember this. This used to be an attempt to make a, 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 a mini lathe. Yeah, we're gonna repurpose this one, finally, because it's doing nothing, so, uh, but it's way too long, so we need to cut it, cut it off. Now, these two rods are hardened, so that means it's gonna be a pain, because uh, I don't have the right tools to do this kind of stuff, but yeah, I mean, Whoopsies. Whoops. You know what? Screw this. I'm getting a bit. Uh, I'm getting an angle grinder. I cannot deal with this. While we wait for the angle grinder to arrive, we are going to make the enclosure of the router table. As I want the best material for this project, I chose to use some scrap IKEA furniture and random bits and pieces for my shop. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna paint everything anyways, and so it's going to look pretty nice, I hope. Now, let me tell you, this is basically the first project I make out of wood, which is intended to be painted in the end. And therefore, you'll see some random bits and pieces, such as my kitchen table, Definitely some IKEA things that uh, uh, end up in the pile of garbage like they should. I'm kidding, <laughs> but uh, I wasn't sure yet how I'm going to attach everything together. Probably some glue and a whole bunch of screws. In cases where I want to assemble or disassemble the pieces, the things like doors or uh, access points, I chose to use insert screws or whatever you call these so i can screw and unscrew the pieces without worrying about uh, damaging the wood underneath and uh, wearing out the yeah um i uh i think you know what insert screws are <laughs> so uh yeah that's what i'm gonna use uh right so we have most of the pieces cut and uh, i made this already mm, delicious <laughs> With something like that, like a box, like a boxy box, like the yeah. You might have noticed that I'm rounding all the corners and making everything look like organic shapes, and the reason for that is. I want to make the thing look like cast iron, which until I get a welder in the shop, let alone an angle grinder that I don't have yet, uh, I want to have a little machine looking machine.
shabby. Okay, it's a bit dirty because I've used it a little bit. Uh, but uh, here we go. My very first angle grinder. I know it sounds like ridiculous that I don't have an angle grinder until now. The rails, these go on top of this, like that, and then there's going to be, for my old uh, stupid lathe, I have this bearing here, I need to take this out. Then we have the motor mount, as well as the motor. This goes up and down, spin a thingy, golden baby. I was a little bit concerned if this thin aluminum sheet would uh, be sturdy enough, but it actually turned out pretty solid in the end. Uh, and obviously I screwed the mounting holes in the wrong plate, because I don't pay attention to anything. Yeah, I, I put it on the wrong plate, so... That's what I just said. Even though things are looking a little bit as janky, uh, this is actually a pretty solid construction and I was quite pleased by how smooth everything is. Now it's time to secure the threaded rod, which is the adjustment of the linear up and down motion. Now we could have just left it there and used the main spindle as the adjustment of the height, but I want to have a fine feed or fine adjust and for that we're gonna cut a warm gear to reduce the motion even further. I'm not gonna push my luck, I think that's delicious. Okay, next thing uh, we bring, I've already made this, so we bring this guy. Wait. We bring this guy over here, uh, like that, which will bring it down and up. Okay, I think, I think that's good. So, uh, I'm cutting a recess hole in the front board to accommodate for switches and handles. Basically, the control panel, if you wish. Ground control to me. I'm making the mounting plate out of thin sheet metal and I think it will look pretty cool as well as give it a more machine-like look rather than a piece of garbage.
engage and disengage. It's so cool, it's so satisfying, yet so redundant. Anyway, you engage in, you engage the top. Okay, listen, I'm not, I'm not very proud of the holes I made in the center of this aluminum, alu aluminum plate, but uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna do its job, and uh, there's gonna be a brass plate covering everything. So uh, let's just move on. Have you noticed watching someone using a machine that slips away all the time? is as annoying as actually using the machine that slips away from you all the time. I've been thinking about that a lot. As I continue to make mistakes on this aluminum plate, hey, you know what? I want to go on a small tangent about the word aluminum and aluminum. Both words are terrible. <laughs> Both words are terrible and I come from the side of the world that says aluminum. So I'd love to hear it if you have an alternative. Like, we, we need to figure out some way to say this word that is universal and nice and smooth on the tongue. So yeah, this whole argument about aluminum or aluminum is kind, is kind of similar to metric and imperial system, but it's not. Aluminum and aluminum are both terrible words and I hate them both. These screw holes I'm covering up are uh, kind of a mistake. The don't worry about they were quite inaccurate and uh, unnecessary and I just screwed everything from the bottom. Let's just move on from this Almobius plate and uh, do something else. Why, why did I make this so freaking short? It's annoying. And why doesn't, why is this set screw garbage? To get the cast irony look I'm looking for, I'm filling all the holes and rounding all the corners just to make this a smooth and delicious appearance. I'm uh, kind of a bad painter and all things considered, I don't know, I don't have the touch of the, the golden finger. Things turned out all right in the end, Except they didn't <laughs> because I uh, chose the wrong paint or at least I misunderstood how to use this paint. Uh, maybe it needs a hardener. You can see the can in the corner. So let me know if I'm doing things the right way. I'm not so sure. But anyway, it didn't harden. So I removed it and decided to go with my trusty old spray paint that I've used before on the guitar project. And I removed it as well because I hated how it looked. And so I went to the hardware store and I found this just sitting in the corner, waiting for someone to pick him up. <laughs> the hammered finish paint, which uh, I know it has a love-hate relationship, but uh, I think for this project it might look pretty cool. And it's a very forgiving paint, all things considered. It does take a long time to harden, but uh, in the end it kind of oozes and smooths out by itself. So it only took three attempts, but if I want to make people think this is made out of metal, I think we made the right choice. You know, it seems I always forget to brand my creations and inventions. But not this time. This time I'm going to make a, uh, uh, a, 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 a kind of a brand. I want to make a real brand name. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best thing in the entire in the world. And uh, yeah, it's going to be something else.
So I got one uh, like a, a good bit because all my all my other bits are kind of like you know you buy ten, six of these for twenty euro, euros or dollars or whatever. Uh, this one costs the same just for the one. It's not super expensive. I know that they get much higher than this, but uh, I don't want to get too crazy. Whoop! Never mind. Now we're gonna do something kind of stupid, but uh, I think it's gonna be fun. So, okay, here we go. Okay, now. Okay, this this would be a waste to do it with this bell, so let me uh Oh it moved. <laughs> uh, okay, the wrench moved in the in the middle, but uh, still, look at that. <laughs> Even though it took quite a long time, I think we, 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 I think I made something pretty cool. It outperforms what I expected, which is usually not the case when I make my own tools, but in this case, it's very versatile. And as you can see, touching it is absolutely, you know, say what you will about hammered finish, just uh, feels absolutely fantastic. And I think it looks great. I'm quite happy with hammered finish. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching please consider going to the patreon page where it pays for for this basically and for everything else else in the shop yo see you in the next video uh yeah